Sandpaper, a story by Ompong Remigio, illustrations by Beth Parroca Dr. Lero. My mother is so neat. If there's something icky and sticky, she rubs here and there. If the shirt is blotchy, she scrubs here and there. If the pan is greasy, she cleans here and there. She'll go to the living room and tidy up. If the morning paper's crumply, she folds here and there. If the screws screwed loosely, she twists here and there. If the pillow is lumpy, she flops here and there. She'll go inside the kitchen and tinker. If the food is icy, she boils here and there. If the fish is jumpy, she stews here and there. If the stove is wobbly, she wedges here and there. She'll go to my room and go through my things. If the laces are forlorn, she ties here and there. If the hem's torn, she saws here and there. If the crotch is worn, she patches here and there. She'll pass by the bathroom and have a look-see. If drops of wee-wee have gone astray, she splashes here and there. If bits of ah-ah are on display, she flashes here and there. If little oop-oos get in the way, she washes here and there. She'll go to the backyard, to the garden. If the leaves have gone a-falling, she sweeps here and there. If the birds have gone a-dropping, she scrapes here and there. If the worms are up and crawling, she plucks here and there. That's my mom, who's really, really neat. The whole afternoon, the whole day, she rubs and scrubs, folds and fluffs, simmers and stews, patches and saws, sweeps and scrapes, mends and tapes. One day, for a visit, came my Aunt Marie. She said, What's wrong with you, Mila Green? You keep on scrub, sweep, scoring, and scrub, sweep, scoring, until your palms have gone rough and thick-skinned. It's like sandpaper. So please take a break and smoothen your skin, or to ring may not hold your hand. My father will not hold my mother's hands? Why? What is sandpaper? I looked for sandpaper all over the house, but I found only Japanese paper. I went to Mrs. Epan's store and bought some sandpaper. It was coarse. It scratched and stung my skin. The wood was scraped in a scratch. The cloth was torn in a rub. I couldn't imagine that my mother's hands could be this rough. There was a time when I was feverish and I had to stay in bed. My mother stayed close to me. When I was hot and shivery, she bathed me here and there. When I felt weak and shaky, she cured me here and there. When my bones were all achy, she massaged me here and there. But how come my mother's touch never did hurt, and my skin wasn't scratched? Her touch made me feel so much better. Aunt Marie was wrong. My mother's palms were not like sandpaper at all. When I was well enough, I saw my mother working in the house again. If the curtains need some mending, she stitches here and there. If some mouse would go hiding, she peeps here and there. If the rice still needs some husking, she tosses here and there. If the toys are thrown all over, she plops them here and there. If a bruise on my head's a bother, she comforts me here and there. If a kitten strays from somewhere, she keeps it here and there. There was a time I saw my mother and father holding hands. 
it was a sight to behold. Aunt Maring was wrong. My mother's palms are not like sandpaper. Not like sandpaper that scrapes here and there, scratches here and there, rubs here and there. But still, I can't help asking my mother about Aunt Maring's remark that her palms felt like sandpaper. Dear child, my palms are thick and coarse because I'm always working, my mother said. I thought about it. My mother's coarse palms made the pillow I slept on so soft. The boiled chicken, the cushions on the seat, my father's socks and shirts, the rocky soil, and even day old crusty bread. They're all softened by her rough, gritty hands. I went to my mother and held her hands. I felt like I did not want to let go, ever. This story honors the mother. Though her hands be roughened by housework, they soften with tenderness when she touches her child.